We're supposed to be growing. We're supposed to be advancing. But what if what we're advancing to, what if our understanding of what it means to be spiritual is not exactly lined up with what the Bible teaches true spirituality is? That's what, that was the case in Corinth. They thought they were doing a fantastic job, but Paul keeps calling them back and says, the goal you're aiming towards is not the goal Jesus established. So what if we've misunderstood this? So I will ask you now this question. You all need to think about this. What does it mean to be spiritual? We are called to be spiritual people. Not only that, we're called to grow as spiritual people, spiritual men and women of God. But I'm afraid sometimes what happens is we don't actually define what this means. And you know how busy life is now, right? So we're going through life, we're doing our best, we're catching devotions where we can. We go to church, we listen to the preacher, mostly. And in between all of that, we're trying to grow. So what does this mean? What does it mean to be spiritual? What does that look like? What does it mean to be mature in the faith? Would you know if you were? Worst, would I know if I wasn't? What does this look like? Maturity in the faith. Every one of you, want, I want you right now just to pause for a minute, and I want you to think of somebody in your assembly, where you come from, that you consider to be spiritual, that you consider to be mature. And not just the pastor. I know all of you immediately went to your pastor or your spouse. But let's broaden the range. Let's think past our wife and past our husband. You got somebody in mind? Why did you pick them? What makes them spiritual for you? Why do you think they are mature? If you can answer that question, then you can answer what you think spirituality is and what you think maturity in the faith looks like. One more. If we were the disciples that Jesus desires, what would that look like? And if we got there, how would we know? 